All right, everybody, I'm very excited to bring this video. Those of you that have followed my channel for quite some time now, you are in for a treat. Those of you that might be watching my channel for the very first time, you picked the right effing video. Because let me tell you something, I picked up yesterday the rarest and the greatest video game related find I've ever encountered. No BS. This thing that I found, if I wouldn't have grabbed it, it would have been gone probably seconds after I walked out that door, if not minutes. This thing that I picked up on Monday, I might have never seen ever again out in the wild. This is something that you do not see out there in the wild. And I saw it and I bought it. So I'm gonna tell you everything you're in store for in this video. You're gonna find out what that is, okay? Also, I've done a lot of research, I've watched a lot of videos in the 24 hours since I picked up that thing that I'm talking about and I've learned a lot about it but so far I have not been able to find anyone recording a live find of this okay so after you guys find out what that thing is that I'm talking about just post the link below in the comment section if you see if you know of anyone finding this and recording it live because I want to see it um, I want to see their excitement and I want to see if there's anything out there like it. I'm not saying that I have the only video. I'm just saying that I haven't found anything yet like what I'm going to show you guys. So you're getting that, okay? We're going to do uh, an unboxing, even though it's not in a box, but it's still taped up. Uh, I'm going to do that for you guys. And then there's going to be some YouTube first, I think, in this video. Not just for my channel, but for maybe all channels. There might be one or two YouTube first. Now, what I'm going to do, and hopefully one of these is a first, is I am going to test this epic, rare... I almost, I almost lost it there, guys. I almost told you. I almost said too much. Thing. Let's just keep calling it a thing. I'm going to test it live. Well, it's not going to be live. It is going to be recorded. But you guys have to have faith in me. I am not going to bow out if you're hearing me say these words right now whether it works or it doesn't it's going in this video it's that epic that even if it didn't work well you know I would look like a total ass of my, you know I'd make an ass of myself if it doesn't work but if it does it's gonna be a classic YouTube moment I think so that's what I'm offering up to you guys. Will I mix in a little video game hunting? Uh, maybe, but who cares? Because this video is all about this one item. It's that great of a pickup, guys. The greatest thing I've ever found, video game related. I tell you, if Flavor Flav wasn't so crackheadish, I would probably get in touch with his agent through email or whatever, and I would enlist him, hire him to be my hype man to hype up this video, because I'm probably not doing a good enough job. I need Flavor Flav as my hype man. That's what you guys are in store for. I'm setting them up and you guys are knocking them down. All right? So that's it. This is Jeff McKenzie, and this is the takeover. Let's do it. I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, so not your typical Jeep. 
because of the fact that this is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Wrangler Unlimited. I did not know they had a Call of Duty issued Jeep. Look at the seats. Modern Warfare 3 on the seats. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Go figure. This guy must be a hardcore friggin' Call of Duty fan, huh? All right, so now let me tell you how the whole thing went down. So it was about 5.45 on Monday when I pulled up in the Goodwill parking lot. It was dark outside. Um, and the reason why I mentioned that is normally when around that time it's light out, but you know, this is my first day at work since the daylight savings. So uh, this was after work, so it was dark when I arrived in that Goodwill parking lot. Um, now, I had to pick my daughter up over my parents' house. She uh, called from the nurse's office earlier that day and uh, my parents ended up picking her up, so she was sick. My parents said, you know, get over here as quick as possible because we need to move this desk over to your house and we want to get back to the house and, uh, and eat. So, so I was in a rush. Normally I might hit after work two or three Goodwills. So I bypassed that and I only went to, or only decided to go to one Goodwill, which is a Goodwill that literally, I, you know, I have to drive through this Goodwill to get to my house. It's that much on the way. Uh, but this is a Goodwill, in my opinion, is the worst Goodwill as far as pricing their stuff too high. And for that very reason, 99% of the time I walk out of there with nothing. I think the last time I picked up something there, and it it's it's on one of my YouTube videos, I got the Zapper, the Nintendo Zapper gun, uh, and then like some Nintendo 64 game, if I remember correct. And that was months and months ago. I never pick up anything there, guys. So I decided to stop there. I go inside... I think I seen it almost right off the bat. As soon as you go through the door, there's the uh, uh, the the cashier is right there, or the the you know like most Goodwills, you have the glass uh, counter where the cashier is at. They got a bunch of stuff behind the glass. So right as you open the door to the left, you walk and bam, you're right on top of the on the end cap, I guess you could say. Uh, they have games. Blu-ray, if any kind of uh, video game accessories, uh, consoles will always be in that area. They do not put their stuff out on the floor for no reason at any time. Um, so I think I spotted it like right off, but I really didn't know what the hell it was. I swear, the thing looks like a freaking VCR, I'm telling you. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a closer look at that because I don't know what that is. I kind of was suspicious that it was something good, but like I said, in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, it just could be a VCR. So I went over, or I didn't go over, I just looked over all the games first and didn't see anything in there. Really, really a bad selection this time. Um, and then I got over to the this thing again and I'm looking at it and I look closer and I see the name on the front of it just barely because there's something in front of it and it's turned sideways and I'm like wow my eyes just bug out of my freaking head because I know it's something special but I'm just I'm not certain you know, it could be a, 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 a counterfeit of this item. It could be a, uh, uh, what's the word? It could be a, a knockoff. 
you know, I don't know exactly. And luckily for me, I have uh, A. Crosby's number, a friend of the channel, a great guy, uh, a person who's a wealth of information as far as video gaming in general. And so I immediately text him. And I'm hoping he texts me right back because, like I said, I'm in a rush. I see the price tag on on this thing and I'm like oh man that's a lot of money I don't want to be paying that but if this is what I think it is so I said F it let me text him and ask you know I think I even sent him a picture I can't remember now I think I might have sent him a picture I told him the name on it I told him what it came with I told him the price and he got right back to me which was great and he's basically like dude if I was there I would grab it it's rare pick it up so and then you know we kind of went back and forth talking about some things and he's like hey test it and you know I couldn't test it there was no uh, RCA cables for it so um, and then he's like you can always return it if it doesn't work and the Goodwills in my area they offer no returns and this one has a lot of the stuff they sell is also no exchange so you can't even exchange it so no return no exchange written right on top of this thing so it was one of those things I had to roll the dice and I was willing to do it uh, thank you a Crosby for your advice uh, it was spot-on I'm sure uh, and later on when I watched videos about it it was the same thing was being said because a Crosby was basically telling me hey just remember most of the time these things that you just found do not work so that was the major concern and why I say I was rolling the dice so anyway that's the story on it how, on how it all went down and now let's go to the live footage of me finding this right now Attention Goodwill shoppers, the color of this week is green. All green tags are 30% off except for clothing. Once again, all green tags are 30% off except for clothing. Thank you for shopping at your neighborhood Goodwill. All green tags um, are 30% off except for clothing. Hi, welcome to Goodwill. Power works. Access. Turn fire. All right, thank you. There it is, guys. The greatest thing that I've ever picked up out in the wild. Um, I'm super excited about this. I cannot tell you how much, how happy I am to find something this rare out there. This is the, definitely the pinnacle of my channel, uh, and it couldn't have happened on a better week. Probably the day that I'm uploading this or the day before I upload this will be my birthday, which is November 9th. 
And uh, so it couldn't have happened on a better week. And I just got a cash gift for my birthday for $100. So I'm actually out of pocket zero dollars on uh this purchase so i consider this a birthday present right here um so now i'm going to do a quick overview of it i'm not going to go into too much detail there's plenty of youtubers out there that do a much better job with that kind of thing and they've already made videos uh so you can check that out um now the uh 3do company uh licensed out the rights to the the hardware for this to other companies to uh to manufacture uh, 3do systems uh, I'm going to go over some of those uh, systems right now. The Panasonic FZ1 was the first one to come out. Uh, then there was another variation of the Panasonic, the FZ10, which was a um, a top loader, kind of like the, uh, well, the same idea as the PS2 Slim. Uh, the, actually, the FZ1 looked more like this system, not exactly, but bulky like this. Uh, then there was the Panasonic Robo 3DO, which was only released in Japan. That was a five disc drive, which is pretty cool. And then you have the Sanyo Tri 3DO, which I think is the rarest of the 3DOs, which was only released in Japan. And then we have Creata 3DO Blaster, uh, which is basically an expansion card you bought and you would, uh, put that on your PC and be able to play 3DO games through that. Uh, and then you have this version right here, which is the Gold Star. Uh, if you guys don't know about Gold Star, Gold Star is now the company known as LG. All right, so um, so that's pretty much it for that. Guys, just to let you know how rare this is, uh, this morning I went on eBay and Amazon. Uh, checked, uh, you know, I checked the worldwide box so I could see uh, world you know, view of whoever's selling these game these consoles. And there was only between the two, between Amazon and eBay, there were only five of this version being sold. I shit you not. Uh, I think Amazon only had one of this version, this model right here being sold. So, uh, that's how rare this is. Um, yeah. So, uh, you look at the front here, we have a power button. And there's a ready light right there. Then we have open and close button with an access uh, light for the CD-ROM. Uh, what's interesting about this console is you only have one controller. But you plug your controller in there and then your uh, actual controller, you plug the other controller, you daisy chain the controllers together so you can play multiplayer, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you can see the front here it actually looks like a VCR and that's what I was saying earlier in the video is that at first I thought it might be a VCR It looks like you could tap on this and this would fold in um, You have the 3DO symbol there gold star compact disc digital audio and then 3DO interactive multiplayer um, Don't know too much about the expansions on this. There's an AV expansion right here if you take this off um I think one is for memory, extra memory, because there's not too much. This this does have built-in memory, but it doesn't have too much. Uh, and then one is to play CD, music CDs, or something, something of that nature. There's the other expansion right there in the back. Uh, there's an RF connector. There's AV and also S-Video. It's a little hard to see. There's an S-Video connection right there. There's also a channel 3 and 4 switch, if you can see it. All right, turn this baby around. And then also the plug is hardwired. I think the Panasonic's versions, I'm not sure about the other ones, but the Panasonic versions had a, uh, a plug-in uh, uh, power cord that plugged into the back of it. All right, so uh, the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to open this baby up. Let's do it. All right, so let's cut this open. Um, on top of it, it does say uh, this is a used electronic uh, with game. Um, it is sold as is with no guarantee or warranty implied. Uh, and then at the very bottom, it says no exchanges or refunds. So that's the kicker. If this thing doesn't work, then uh, I'm pretty much screwed. I can't even exchange it for uh, store credit. Um, you guys saw the price sticker is $89.99, which is, you know, more than I would want to pay, but 
I will pay that any day, all day for something this rare. Um, all right, so let's open it up. It has two controllers in there. I think uh, the handful of systems uh, on eBay and Amazon combined, none of them came with two controllers. They all came with one controller. So that's cool that it comes with two, but they're different ones. So we need to look into that and figure out why that is. That up. This side. Hate this tape, it gets residue. Not too bad though. All right, let's take the controllers out first. All right, so the first controller here, uh, so this is the authentic thing for the Gold Star. Uh, this is the Gold Star controller. You can see there, it's the 3DO on there. Uh, it has stop and play, kind of just like a, a VCR. Um, looks kind of like a uh, Sega Genesis controller or a mixture between Sega and Super Nintendo, I guess. Um, I did hear somebody talking about, oh, you know what? This one doesn't. Okay, so somebody on the on YouTube was saying this spins and that's the downfall to this uh, Gold Star controller, but mine doesn't spin, so his must be broken. Uh, it's got the bumpers on there. Feels nice and tight too, nice, nice and tight, and, and hopefully it'll be uh, responsive once I start playing this game. Um, so yeah, man, it looks like it's in very nice shape. Uh, Gold Star control pad, model number GPA-111M, Gold Star Company. Uh, made in Korea. Very nice shape. Looks like it has a really lengthy cord too, so that's cool. Alright, so that's one controller. And this one is definitely different. Okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, I've done some research on the controllers. This is a Logitech controller. So this controller right here, this is a badass looking controller. I mean, look how futuristic that looks. It looks really, really cool. Um, this controller right here was, uh, remember I was telling you guys about uh, Creative that uh, made the 3DO Blaster with the expansion card for the PC. Uh, this is one of, uh, I think it was three controllers made by Logitech. Uh, and they were all different except for Actually, two of them were pretty much the same, except for uh, Creative is on one of them, and the other one's totally different, but this one does not have the Creative on it. Uh, this is, I want to say this is the rarest 3DO controller out there. Uh, I only saw one of these. Uh, there was zero on Amazon, and there's only one on eBay. So, uh, yeah, really cool controller there. Uh, it's a little small bumpers. Those are interesting. I don't know how that would feel during gameplay or if that would be uh, good at all. All right, we probably won't be able to read this. I'll just read it to you guys. Uh, 3DO control pad designed by Logitech made in China. So there we have it. All right, yeah, same thing, nice lengthy cord. So, so that's cool. Uh, two variations there of the controllers. You can see. All right. Oh, we do got some scratching here. That sucks. So somebody scratched it up on top here. It's not. It's not too deep, but it took that color. Uh, it's. You can see. I guess this is the base color right here. This dark color, and then the gray. So it's. It's down to the base right there. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so there we have it. There, and by the way, this thing is heavy as crap. This is probably the weight of an original Xbox, if not heavier, I would say. So, yeah. All right, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is to test this baby out. So, like I said, guys, I'm not lying. I have not tried this system out. I'm going to do it for the first time in front of a YouTube audience. And I'm telling you right now, we're either gonna make history or I'm gonna look like an idiot. But we're gonna do it and that's coming up 
right now. Okay, so here we have it, the moment of truth. Uh, it's time to test this equipment. Uh, something that I did not mention that I think I should mention uh, before we test it is the Gold Star controller does have, uh, which I think is pretty cool, a headphone jack and also a volume control, uh, which immediately reminds me of the Sega Genesis having that... Uh, headphone jack in the actual console in the volume control uh, in the console which by the way I didn't set this up it's actually under the table so there you have it a volume control right there and a headphone jack that already has headphones plugged into it uh, so that's what that reminded me of uh, so all right, so here it goes, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test it on this old school tube screen TV. Um, let me see. Do I already have it plugged in? So I have everything set up. This is the very first time I'm testing this equipment, uh, and you guys are a part of this. So I'm not going to turn the TV on right now. Let's just turn it on. And let me show you once again what's in the disc. So what we do know is... We have a power indicator light red that does come on. We have an access light that does come on. We know we can eject it. We did that in the Goodwill itself. So the game that came with it is uh, Return Fire, which, by the way, is supposed to be one of the better 3D 3DO games you can play. Um, this game is a, uh, how should I describe it? So basically you're in a tank, you can choose a tank, a helicopter. It's kind of a uh, capture the flag type of military game. Uh, I don't even think I checked the condition on this. It has a few small scratches, but in very nice condition, guys. All right, so let's put that back in there. Uh, so what else? Making sure I'm not forgetting anything. So worst case scenario, if it does not work, I can sell all this stuff separate on my eBay account. The game, I can sell the controllers, this controller separate, this controller separate, and the defective console, and probably make back all of the money purchased for it. Um, now the best case scenario is... This thing works, and you guys got to hear about this friggin' console pickup for the rest of my YouTube life, all right? So, uh, so that's that. Um, man, let's do it, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off. Hopefully, I can remember where this button is. I'm going to have to reach behind me, and we're going to turn this thing on, and we're going to see if it works. Oh, what I probably should do is turn the TV on first. So there we go. So that's on. Now remember, we know it turns on, but we don't know if the CD spins. We don't know uh, if the video works, and we don't know if the audio works. So that's what we're going to figure out right now. A YouTube first. Jesus, my heart beat. <laughs> my heart is friggin' about to bust out my friggin' chest. I am not lying. All right, you guys ready? Come on. Come on, baby. Yes, baby! Yeah!